Ben, how are you today, and what do you think about Wasteland 3? That is a loaded question, Matt Rory. Yes, I am yes. okay. I don't know anything about Wasteland 3. This is my first time looking at it. It's good that you say that, because I am here to explain. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, Wasteland 3 came out a few weeks ago. We did try to do a little quick look, and I... I um, what? I, I don't know. We uh, I kind of ran into some issues with uh, some stuff while we're trying it again, uh, which is why this is coming out a few weeks after the game came out. But hopefully you're in the mood to see a top-down isometric RPG with a lot of talking, a lot of combat, a lot of fun, a lot of humor. Um, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, this is set in Colorado, I believe. Um, you are a part of the Arizona Rangers coming over here to help out people in Colorado who are also going to send back some food supplies for you. You have to do some tasks for a guy named the Patriarch, uh, who is not a, not a cool guy. He's got three kids who all want to kill him for some reason. Um, very bizarre. Uh, let's hop up. We are in the Arapaho Caravan. These guys up here are trying to break into this car and steal some um, power armor. Uh, we got this lady over here. Georgia Overdrive is bleeding to death. I, I don't oh. know if I can... I don't remember seeing her the last time I did this mission, so maybe I missed her, but... Um, you got little bomb heads over here. These guys will run up to you and blow up. We got people with cyber arms. Um, and your mission is to go ahead and drive train, too. Oh, wow, these people are named after car parts. That's really interesting. Uh, you can kind of scout ahead if you're doing combat missions. Uh, this guy has a big red circle around him. That's his kind of awareness circle. Uh, you can sneak up to people if you want to. Uh, one of my major problems with this game is the way combat kind of starts. It's very variable. You have to kind of know a lot of the rules. Um, but what I'm going to do here real quick, just to show off a little bit of the way combat goes. Let me get all my other teammates up here too. Um, I actually want to get them over to the side this time for a reason that will become clear in very shortly. There's a lot of positioning kind of stuff going on before combat. You really want to make sure all your people are in position, which is kind of frustrating because you really do have to get really granular with them. But I'm going to walk up here and try to shoot this dude before he sees me. And that should let me start the turn on my turn. If you walk up into that circle and they spot you, uh, the entire enemy team will usually go first and they all work on one turn so that you don't really get a... Uh, don't really get a chance to react unless you have this thing called initiative, which is buried. Let me see if I can find this real quick. What I was confused by before, and I'm not sure I can open up this menu in, uh, let's get right into the menus, man. That's what people want to see. There is a stat called initiative way down here at the bottom of this, uh, stat tracker thing. Initiative determines your chances of getting the first combat turn if an enemy detects you. This is, uh, based on your awareness. I want to say awareness and speed. Um, at least I, I read somewhere that awareness was part of it and I, maybe it's only speed cause that's where it's showing up. Anyways, if you walk into that red circle and you let the enemies attack first, uh, they will all go first except for people who roll high enough on an initiative check, which was very confusing to me. And I'm sure I, I have a feeling that there are probably other people who are, are not kind of confused by it too. So I'm trying to be informative as well as entertaining here at Giant Pong. Uh, I'm going to use a, um, I'm going to use this. Precision strike. As you notice uh, here, we got everything pretty much x -commy. Um We have half height cover, full height cover, APs, uh, reload buttons. We have, you can overwatch, which is called ambush here. Defend, uh, save some AP for next turn. It is pretty can you flank? much. What was that? Can you flank? Uh, I don't know if you can flank. Um, I'm not sure. There's not, I, there are melee weapons in this game, but I don't really use them very much. So flanking is um, not something I've really gone into. There's also a lot of these weird little icons like, um, that little car thing up there, which I'm not really sure means uh, the tutorials for this are OK, but they have there's a lot of detail in the systems here that you really have to kind of get into the nitty gritty on. But anyways, let me use this special ability first. Uh, the precision precision strike is a ability to Can I use this. There we go. I can't tell if I'm using it or not. <laughs> OK, there we go. I think I can do this and precision strike very much kind of a, uh, you know, uh, a system from Fallout where you can target stuff for different benefits. Uh, I usually go straight for the head. 50% um, chance to deal 175% bonus damage. So I'm going to go and do that. Crippled. Uh, okay. Now I can remove. So the other benefit of walking up and shooting people before they see you is that uh, you will usually be able to take your entire first turn without a problem. I'm going to move this tank up over here first. Try to get up here. Oh, that path is blocked, but I can move all the way up, right? Yeah? Can I do that? There you go. Let's try it out and see. I'm going to run this guy over. How about that? I 
my guy gets out of the way. This tank is not available in most uh, situations. It is pretty powerful. It's also going to take a lot of damage here because I haven't upgraded it very much. Can you, uh, like, move your units through it, or is it, like... No, it's solid. You have to move around it, and the problem is there's fire here now, too, and fire will uh, affect you if you walk into it. You'll be set on fire, and fire lasts for a while. There's all kinds of status effects and everything like that in this game, so you do have to be a little careful about that kind of stuff. This is only 3 AP, but I don't think I can hit anything else. You'll notice that there are heavy machine turrets, bombs, uh, a bunch of other people too in this in this building over here as well. Um, but like I said, this is one of two common encounters you get when you first hit the overworld map. And you have a chance between this and a homestead that is about to be overtaken by uh, bandits. A lot of, uh, you know, if you're into rednecky type jokes, this is the game for you because it is a lot of kind of radioactive cannibal uh okay yeah there's a uh, i forget the name of the the dorsey clan that is kind of the the you know generic bad guy clan that's kind of taken over a lot of colorado and you have to fight a bunch of them and they all have various shades of uh that kind of humor so uh looks like everybody pretty i'm gonna set you to over ambush i don't think anybody's gonna come down this way but i'm gonna go and start preparing for next turn people have remaining ap they can save two of it up to two. Uh, you can save one. Any questions about the game so far, Ben? No, I mean, it really seems straightforward in that if you've played uh, one of these, you kind of get it. Yeah. Sort of way. Um, it's a lot of writing. We'll get into some of the writing and dialogue stuff uh, in a bit here. So this tank is taking a shit ton of damage. Um, but maybe in a second, I'll show. Oh, dear. Let's stay alive. No! Oh! Did it die? Or do I still have a little bit left? I have 11. So I, I have tamed a chicken. I, one, of my, one of my dudes has animal mastery. As that chicken is on my side. It takes a turn before my guys. I have 11 hit points left in this tank. I'm going to try and run over some people more. The, does the chicken stay with you or, or is it yeah. like a per encounter? It will stay with you during... Um, so how many... Okay, I, I can get both these guys here. What a powerful machine. I'm going to go over here then real quick. Kill that guy. And this bomb is probably going to blow me up. I have actually never lost the uh, tank in combat, so I'm not really sure what would happen if I do. But you can see why I'm moving up my characters. It's pretty standard kind of uh, combat stuff. But maybe real quick, I'll show you another way that you could do this encounter. And we'll talk about some other stuff as I do that real quick. One of the big uh, the things about this game, like I said, it's pretty buggy. Um, Co-op is really having a lot of problems. This game is kind of... Uh, Built for online play with another person if you want to do it, kind of like Divinity 1. But a lot of those systems are very, very buggy at this point. They've been trying to patch in some help. A lot of loading screen bugs where you can't get past a loading screen. I've seen people talk about not being able to progress through conversations. So they just sit there and they can't move on and they basically have to reload a save and they get stuck in the same place every time. Uh, you said so far, though, that they've been um, patching this game. Yes. Yeah. And that was what I was curious about when I first started playing this because it was already delayed for three months uh, at the beginning of COVID. Um, and it, I was kind of under the impression that some of these bugs, if they already waited three, three extra months and they still have this many bugs in this game, um, seems like it was kind of one of those things where it might be, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, they are definitely working on it though. Uh, they had a patch the day after we recorded that first quick look and they have another patch coming this week, I believe. Um, so if like any kind of fallout game, if you have the ability to scout around, I actually totally didn't notice this whole thing the first time I came through here, but, uh, if you know you're going down this way anyways, you can kind of find this little side path too. I got some buried items. I just want to show you a, a kind of some of the stuff that you can do in any game like this. If you're going to have, I had lock picking, so I got through that door. If you didn't have lock picking, you wouldn't be able to do this path. You'd have to go down the main path. But since you have the ability to make make or bring six characters to every party, you're going to have a pretty good variety of uh, character abilities. So it's I haven't found anything that I really had a problem uh, being able to. I don't get. I don't even. Oh, it's just. How do answer. um skills like speech work? Is it like a hard number you have to have yeah. or? Yeah, so you'll see that in a dialogue coming up here. We'll, they'll have a little number next to it. It's kind of, I know some Fallout games have made that a little more obscure, um, but this one definitely just has like, hey, you need to have two hard ass to get past this check. And if you can't do it, it'll just be read it out. Um, so I'm going to go, like I said, I found this side passage here. I'm going to go back and go up here. Nobody has seen me yet. You notice those machine guns out here were pretty tough. They're like 300 health. If I go over here, Disable mechanics level three. Go ahead and do that for me, somebody. 
And if you have your whole party highlighted, it will pick the person with the highest skill and send them all over. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, it is It is handy. Sometimes I've run into problems where I haven't uh, noticed that I've unselected the party, um, and that's been kind of problematic. But anyways, I'm going to go start this fight another way. I just disabled the two machine guns, so they're dead. And I'm going to try and get down here and take the first shot, because the last time I got over here, I really had an annoying time because I could not see out, and I all of a sudden got discovered. Let me take another quick save here. Uh, another semi... Oh, shit. See, I'm being seen, but I can't see anything outside because I was inside. So now combat has started, and I have uh, only You're one character. exposed, yeah. Yeah, I have only one character with initiative. So I couldn't see out this little window here despite it being open. Uh, a lot of little bugs like that that are really frustrating. Um, just really. Uh, a lot of little stuff that adds up to kind of... An, exaggerated to call it game breaking uh, except for the stuff that really is game breaking but it's significantly annoying in a lot of ways um and I, can I shoot can I, I can't even shoot this guy oh he has no ap that's one of my dudes i can't see out this i can't see out this thing at all so that's great i can't even quite figure out how to get out this door because it's all kind of um maybe i can get up here and try to shoot out how about that let's try that let's set up a firing position up here or you know what, actually? I'm going to go ahead and fucking reload this and try this one more time because I think I found a better strategic alternative to this. I'm going to leave everybody upstairs by the uh, generators and send one dude down to... Maybe I can actually fire out and start the combat that way. How do you think about that, Ben? I think that's a solid plan. I, I think th that these games are kind of all about that, right? Yeah. Like, taking the time to come up with the plan, looking mm -hmm. at your characters, looking at the scenario. I mean, that's the fun of it, right? It's yeah. like building your team. Um in that regard, like, how um, do you start with created characters, or are you, like... Um... That's one of the more kind of annoying things about it, is that... Let me do something real quick and make sure I'm still recording my audio here. Uh, you start off with two. You can either have two pre-generated characters, or you can make two of your own. If you're a real min-maxer, you probably want to play a little bit and get a feel for how uh, the game works, and you'll probably want to restart with, like, two pre-generated characters, or... Two characters you make yourself to... Um, can I get in a cover? I can crouch here, can't I? That's good. He's ready. I'm going to get these. Who has the good guns and can fire a ways away? Let's get them up here and try to crouch them down. Let's try this one more time here. I don't know if they can see out with the crouch, but I think they can. Oh, that that guy can see in here. Um, so the I think one of my main problems with the game is that your characters aren't in the narrative at all. They're just kind of generic Arizona Rangers, no matter who they are. Um, so there's not, there, even if you do use the pre-generated characters, there's no storyline hooks. Uh, you have a personality if you want to roleplay one, but it's not like Divinity where you would have, um, you know, a, a storyline for your character based on which one you chose at the beginning of the game. Uh, that's kind of, kind of disappointing in a way, but, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I guess the Fallout and Wasteland, Wasteland games have never really had that. Um, but there are a bunch of... Uh, pre-generated combat duos and you just kind of take a look and, and make sure they're uh, a little bit different in terms of what they do because you really want to have a lot of variety in terms of weapon choice um, you'll see that these people have different kind of weapons this is an automatic weapon uh, this is a I think an also an automatic weapon there are sniper rifles this is a heavy weapon you kind of want to have a lot of variety because ammo can be a problem in this game I'm going to set Spence. These guys are both using... She's using a revolver. This guy's using a handgun. So they'll probably need to be a little closer anyway. All right, let me quick save here again and try to get the opening shot here and see what I can do. Nope. Um, just... How would you say the overall difficulty is? I There are difficulty settings. I'm playing on normal, um, and I've found it to be pretty okay so far. I'm only like 10 hours in or so. I haven't played a, a, a tremendous amount of it. I know... The, um, man, I'm really, this is a really good opening to this, especially since my truck can go in too. Let's go and move this guy up and start ramming people. Uh, actually, I'll move him up here and crush one dude and maybe try to fire with him next turn. But he is kind of an instant kill if he goes over somebody, so that's pretty powerful. And with the machine guns no longer working, uh, I think we're going to be doing okay here. Two and I want to shoot here. Let's just shoot that bomb guy. Yeah, will you blow up? I don't think they blow up if I shoot him. Um, I only have two AP. I'm going to go ahead and let you prepare for next turn. Move over here real quick. Uh, I think I need to take this guy out. You going to ask him to dinner first? Yeah. So precision, precision, precision strike. 
uh, is a kind of uh, you know fallouty kind of thing where you can target uh, specific parts of the body. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like that. Um, Does it do the thing where like if you hit him in the leg, is they're going to be crippled and move slower? Kind of. You know what? I honestly mostly just pick the head because I kind of yeah. you know, hey might as well shoot him in the head. Uh, I think I really need to get this bomb, dude. But you, uh, both these people are using revolvers down here, and they don't really have great range. So I think I'm just going to set her to be Overwatch. And who else can fire here? You got to save that for next turn. I got an 8 AP character over here. Spence has a rotator. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to move you back over here and try to make you ambush too, because I think people will be coming through this door if I'm thinking correctly. Who can you hit? You can't hit anybody from where you are, buddy. So I'm just going to have you do ambush too, because I believe there are people in the other buildings over here that will be coming by. So I found that with games like these, the most fun and memorable stuff a lot of time are the side quests. Mm -hmm. um, have you noticed anything similar in this game? Like how how does that stat, how does the side stuff stack up to the, like the main campaign? There is a ton of uh, oh my gosh, that chicken ran off. So I, I can tame chickens and have other farm animals to make them my my friends, and they are basically attack on their own. Uh, I, there's a bunch of missions in the mission log that I've gotten so far. I've kind of been sticking to the main quest. The main quest diverges into three different subquests for all the kids. So you really uh, you but they they're way above your level where you can do them. So you're basically kind of doing a lot of um, you're going to be doing a lot of uh, side quests to get experience and things like that. So how do I get these people? Can I get them all at the same time? I think I can. Ooh, boy. Can I get all of them? Let's see. Let's try it out. No. Okay. Well, I got eight AP. I got three AP left. Not enough AP to fire, but I can move over here and kill this guy, I think. Can I? No. Oh, he squeezed up against the... Okay. Oh, there we go. I can do this. Try to kill smart people. So the whole point of this little thing is to show you that you have different ways of approaching missions, and that's not to be unexpected in a game like this, but I, I did think it was kind of neat that you have whole different paths and be able to turn off you know, um, machine guns and everything like that. So I'm well on my way to getting this uh, power armor for myself. Uh, and now I can start shooting people again. Let's see about this. You go ahead and shoot that dude. Uh, oh shit, I'm I hit my chicken. If you already addressed this, but permadeath on characters? Uh, I uh, Honestly, you know, the difficulty level that I'm playing at, I haven't had, you fall down and you take lethal damage and you can use med, med packs and uh, first aid kits on those people to, um, to get them uh, back into shape. I haven't had anybody permanently die. I'm, in these kind of games, I usually just reload if I do have that uh, kind of thing. Uh, not enough AP, you already shot somebody. You can probably move up a little bit. Let's get you up here, get you in a half height cover and see what happens. Oh, I think one of these people has a fucking rocket launcher. So this might be uh, problematic, but we'll see. I'm gonna go and let him ambush if he wants to. Everybody else can just ambush for now. If I can't kill these people with my tank, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a heck of a thing. But yeah, there's a, a billion side quests. You start off in a pretty major city. Um, can I actually do prepare with a tank? So this tank is not in every mission. It's kind of only in the overworld stuff that you see it in. Uh, most of the missions that you're going to be doing uh, elsewhere are going to be... Oh, shit. That was a big-ass shocker there. That was I thought there, I thought there was a rocket launcher in there, but I'll try to see if I can get that guy down next turn. Uh, but yeah, like I said, a lot of bugs. I've fired through walls before plenty of times. Um... The console versions of this are apparently a real mess still. Uh, they are trying to patch, but it's it's a lot of books. What consoles is, are, is this out on? Uh, Xbox the, and... The okay, get him, get him, good. Okay, get him PS4. too. Uh, PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, it's on Game Pass on PC, so that should be everything. Mission completed, heads or tails. Uh, there's a couple people lying around here too. Let me see if they're still alive. I thought there was another dude over here. Let's see if I can get everybody together real quick and try to talk to somebody real quick before we move on. Now you can obviously shift to see everything else on the... Oh, shit. Well, here's a dude I'm supposed to... No? Okay. Can I talk to this person? Shit. Who the hell are you guys? Here to finish me off? Where well, the rangers, ma'am. Cusses. So this is the dialogue tree kind of stuff. You can um, tell them if you say that you're with the Arizona Rangers will get fame increased. I assume that does stuff like uh, better vendor prices and everything like that. Caravan leader. If you save my people, I'll owe you. I'll owe you. Um, kiss. So you see, these are the kind of things where you can have uh, requirements met or not met. Um, if you do run into a particularly challenging one of these, there's always the option to 
go back to your headquarters, which you get pretty early on, and switch out for another uh, character who might be able to meet these kind of system requirements, but it's probably not that big of a deal. Um, get the survivors into the cab to get them back on the road. Take care, drivetrain. I hope you're okay. Um, it looks like there's another couple of people over here. But that's the main gist of this mission. Uh, I'm going to bounce over to the other one that was possible to do real quick. Uh, let me load this up for a second here. We're going to go over to the Hoon Homestead. So as you go to the main world for the over main over map for the first time, you have the choice between these two missions. And they make it very clear that you are going to be able to do only one of them. So I wanted to show off a little bit of that system. That comes up, it seems like, a, a fair amount. The, the, the one thing that people really seem to love about this game is the reactivity. Um, the choices that you make might not have clear consequences until well down the line. I hear the ending to this game is very uh, specific to all the choices that you've made, uh, which That's is really nice. nice. Yeah, it's it's challenging, too. I mean, I worked on Fallout New Vegas, and uh, getting the script together for each possible outcome was a huge you know, a huge concern tracking the reactivity and keeping track of all the stuff that your characters are doing. I, did I not make a save in the right place here? Uh, we'll go through it here. Uh, this is the other mission that I could have done, but did not um, choose. I chose the power power mission first, but I'm going to go ahead and try this one too. Uh, you see these guys up here. These are the Dorseys who are kind of the... The, the term redneck is, is not the best use of it, but I think these guys are very much playing into the kind of, you know hillbilly aesthetic like you see a lot of games doing it's, it's sure. not not the most original kind of humor um but hey uh, i'm gonna try to get through this encounter without fighting anybody ben how do you feel about that i think that it's impossible okay uh so this guy dorsey killer bonk 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 the weird thing about these these kind of encounters is that it's really tough sometimes to tell when the encounter will start if it's a dialogue start. Um, like, there's no circles here. Uh, if I walked up and shot somebody, it would... I've actually tried to shoot somebody in some of these dialogue encounters, and it goes from me hitting the... Uh, pull the trigger, and it'll go right into dialogue, and it's like that shot never got fired. I guess it doesn't want you to miss some of the writing here, but it's also a weird way of going about, you know, starting some some of these missions so i'm gonna walk up here and go up to this little overlook it's you do generally have the ability to kind of square out and get your characters in position if you want to but since i'm probably not going to be fighting uh let's just try and get over here real quick and launch this talk see there was no like a line to cross to get into this uh dialogue it just kind of happens at a certain right. point that you don't know ahead of time which is kind of frustrating at times so i'm gonna try and talk my way through this yeah i don't know it here uh, as mentioned, like you have uh, six characters with different skill abilities and different things, so you can uh, you want them to have as broad kind of a uh, skill base as possible. And there's a bunch of dialogue skills um, in yeah. here, so it's not too hard to get as many dialogue solutions to these problems as you want. Uh, just later on, skills cost more per point, so you really do have to think and choose if you. But having one character. One of each character with one of each um, skill, uh, speech skill kind of thing doesn't seem impossible. So Yeah, it seems like if you just focus on min-maxing all your yeah. characters in different yeah. aspects, you'll be fine. That's one of the things that kind of um, kind of bugs me out this game is I, I do like to min-max and I like to have rewards kind of... Because a lot of this game, especially in combat, is about either avoiding combat or going through with combat and... Do, getting in combat, you will take, you know, you'll get wounded, you'll use up ammo, but you do get XP for each kill that you make and you get to loot their bodies so there's more cash involved. But, um, so here, here's the choice I'm going to make. I have a kiss ass too. I'm going to try to tell his followers, be smart. You know, your kin can stand against us. You let Erastus start this fight and we'll kill you too. Save yourselves. Stop him. Don't listen to them. We outnumber them two to one. Oh, that may be true, Erastus, but. So did Jared and his boys, right? Yeah, a lot of us could die. I'm trying to talk sense into you, boss. Cares? Jared's gotta be avenged. Sorry, Erastus. Earlier on the bombcast, you said kind of Borderlands-esque yeah. humor, and I, I, I'm picking that up here for sure. Uh, it's not all that way, but I'll show you after this uh, combat and here. I'll show you some. Um, so I have the chance now to uh, go through the this. Thing is, I, I don't think Borderlands is always bad. Like I think, yeah, sure. I think Borderlands can be funny. I think they just lean into some tropes a little too hard, maybe. Yeah. 
Um, I'll show you some of that right in the, the inventory screen. We'll talk about some of the systems more a little bit uh, right after this. I love systems. So I successfully got through that uh, talk, and he's going to... You ain't seen the last of me, you butchers. So if I killed him, I assume he's gone from the game, but now I assume he's going to show up later if I talk my way out of this combat. Um, I could be wrong about that, but that's one of the kind of... Uh, Reaction, reactivity kind of things that they, they talk about a lot. Uh, real quick before we move on to the last part of this, I wanted to show you some of the, uh, where is the inventory here? So uh, talking about um, this kind of stuff, like I have uh, characters with, this is the kind of humor that you, you might know and love from, like uh, this guy's got two dicks on his helmet and he's wearing uh, the attention whores piss baby sex boots. Um, I found these in a brothel. I also fucked a goat in that brothel or a, a, a farm animal of some kind. Uh, it was it was a prostitute. I did have to pay for it. Um, so there's that kind of... I mean, West, West End has always been known for some of its kind of dark humor stuff, but um, some of it is, I, I find... I hate the word cringy a lot, but uh, some of it is kind of edgy in a way that I, I don't find super funny. Um, overall, it's a well-written game. It's what uh, kind of NXL and Obsidian are known for, so... Um, but if you want to fire a frozen ferret launcher, you got one weird science and you can do that. I mean, Fallout and, and Wasteland are both known for having weird humor. Um, I don't think this game necessarily pulls it off super well. Um, one of my, one of my complaints about it. Uh, so going through, if you look down, you have these little titles, but you also have a million different attributes, uh, quirks, backgrounds, you have skills, all, there's a lot of skills in this game. So even the term min-maxing is kind of tough. Uh, you kind of want to have people specialize in some things, um, but it's going to be a little difficult. To, there, there's no jack of all trades in this game. You really do have to kind of make um, some choices along the way. Toaster repair is a weird one. There's a few toasters, toasters in the game, um, but I, I have a feeling this is going to come into one kind of weird late game choice you sure. somebody with 10 toaster repair can there's some toaster hooked yeah. up to the president and yeah. <laughs> can win the game bomb, and win yeah. one thing there's a pretty deep perk system too there's some generic perks and there's also skills tied to perks uh, it kind of reminds you a little bit like the witcher 3 style of uh upgrading stuff as you go you put points into perks and points into skills and then you get perks for spinning perk points so it's pretty complicated it's pretty in depth um like i said i'm pretty early on in the game i haven't gotten super super far because i've been a little busy lately but uh there are all kinds of completed missions uh there are they're tagged in terms of difficulty you get a bunch of these really early on where you know you're not gonna be able to do a red quest so stick to the grays and stick to the greens and you should be okay um let's go and finish this actually real quick let me try and get the whole um there we go this guy's got the full Rad tech. Where's the rad tech stuff? There's you find a few armor sets along the way. Um, this guy's a pretty ballerina now. This is a machine shop chest. A lot of armor will have different. Um, there's rad tech pants. I don't know where my rad tech chest went to. Maybe I dropped that somewhere. But a lot of really fun kind of customization options and the and the outfits and everything like that. Um, anyways, let's finish this mission real quick, and I'm gonna go back to the overworld and show a little bit of that. I think we'll be. Well on our way to explaining what Wasteland 3 is. Thanks for the hit. Um, quick look at it, perhaps. Yeah. So here's a quick uh, dialogue. I want to skip through some of this real quick. Um, we've already seen some of this dialogue option stuff. Uh, they'll give you rewards. You have some questions. Uh, weapon, Even like uh, some of your weapon modding skills. Like That's not something that pops up into um, dialogue very much. But a lot of these skill checks will be in dialogue for various things. So it's good to have a, a people with a lot of different variety of... Uh, of abilities um but as i said before okay let's get through this real quick so i've won uh the my another big problem for me is that xp bonuses are not like recorded anywhere so i don't know how much xp i got from that dialogue from making that skill check from even completing this mission it doesn't really show that kind of stuff so knowing what the xp difference is between going through with combat and um and just going through a dialogue only is kind of obscure to me. And maybe I'm just completely missing something. I, I totally will admit before anybody complains about it. I, the systems in this game are pretty complex. And I'm, it's, it does require a lot of looking through all the submit systems to figure out everything before uh, you know really what's going on. So this is definitely the kind of game that I would say if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably stop right about now and restart it with a custom pair of characters and try to be more judicious about like who I'm picking for my party because... Um, you really almost want to have a spreadsheet of who knows what and who is going to upgrade and what to go forward. I, the game very seems heavily emphasized on just doing whatever you want to and seeing what the consequences are. 
Um, but I always, when I play this kind of game, I really kind of want to have a team capable of meeting as many challenges as they could. Um, if you ever played like original Sin 2 or anything like that, you'll, you'll know there's always going to be something you can't get by. Uh, so here is the outcome for me choosing the other mission. Tell your daddy the patriarch that we robbed his convoy and has got his marshal's power armor. Looks good on us too. See you soon, Rangers. We got Colorado Springs in our sights. And they said they killed everybody and brought a, built a shrine in their honor. Let's go out and check that out real quick. And I'll show you a little bit of the overworld. This is ambush. So there are random encounters on the overworld. Uh, it's a little confusing because you can't move your view around. So all you get is this one kind of static view of the tank. Um, I'm surrounded by giant frogs. I can, uh -oh. small chance to escape, try to free, uh, defend yourself, survival three, take advantage of the terrain to escape the frogs. These are random. They won't show up. Like even if I quick loaded, that probably wouldn't show up again. Um, so I got by it. I don't know what I got for that. I assume it would have loaded Does up a not, combo. Yeah, I was going to say, does it not like pop up? Uh, XP reward? I don't know. It's uh, There's no like log for that kind of stuff. So um, uh, this feels kind of like a very, I don't know. I don't want to say take away from anybody's uh, who made this, but this feels kind of like they're working within the constraints of the game engine. And it feels a little bit, um, I don't know. It, it feels like it could be better, I guess. Uh, but you can run over deer. There you go. I ran him over. How do you feel about that, Ben? I feel great, Rory. Okay. What is this? So my camera's on here. What does this camera icon mean? I'm not sure what that... I guess that's where the camera is, but I'm not sure why it's pointing backwards. That's a little odd. Um, anyways, I'm going to go back over here to the Arapaho Cavern where I just was, but now that I have gone for the other mission first, we're going to see some of this reactive... reactivity in... first. Hey... Can you do it? Can I do what? Oh, wait. Yeah, you said you already fucked a goat. I did already fuck a goat. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I don't think I have a save set up for that, unfortunately. I'm going to go enter the area. So any game like this, you're going to make choices, and they're going to have, uh, you know, fallbacks and fallbacks. They're going to have upsides and downsides to the choices that you make. And I, I do think this game seems to have a really good grasp of that. Um, and I, like I said before, I think it really is intended for you to go through the game and see what happens rather than plan for the best sure. outcome for anything. And if you like it, play it again and see like the other endings or whatever. Yeah, if you're uh, actually into role playing uh, these games, I, I'm kind of generally more uh, really into combat in these games and kind of just go for making the most effective kind of combat character that I can. Uh, but you see, if you load it up here, uh, the world has kind of changed a little bit. They've moved some uh, units around. I guess the corpses are here, or some of them are. Uh, but if I go up here and let's take a look, oh boy, I'm just going to go check out what's happening over here. Oh shit, there's a bear. Uh, so they do this kind of thing where you can now have a different kind of encounter here based on the choices that you make. I think I'm going to get, uh, I think I'm going to about to get blown away. So you see, none of my characters got initiative, despite the fact that I hit my, I thought I shot him first, but it did not quite, maybe I didn't quite get that out there. Uh, I'm going to try and do this one quick comment encounter, we'll probably call it a day. Do you have any uh, questions at all? I've asked my questions. Excellent. These guys are, I think, a higher low. Oh, these have high armor. I can't. Mm, I'm going to try and take them down one at a time. But, oh, boy, that did nothing. I'm going to try and do a headshot here. Man, I think these guys have pretty high armor. Uh, you see that little uh, icon by them is armor rating. Uh, let's see what I got here now. Penetration seven. You should be. Oh, I think these just have a lot of health, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them down before. Uh, uh, how do you miss from that range? Come on. That's uh, my least favorite part about these games. Not enough AP. You going struggle there? I'm just gonna try and take down one of these people and see if I can actually do it. And I got this open. I used my didn't use my special. Not enough AP. You stay there. I'm really going through this quick just to see if I can actually take one of these things down before I get really oh man that was a lot of bullets that didn't do much at all I don't think I might I might not live, live through this one Ben uh, hey, again it's okay I wanted to see what death looks like oh shit I didn't hit the right button I didn't go to the right enemy then all right uh, you're gonna go and save so we're gonna try this out and see what happens I think I'm gonna think this this these characters feel like they might be a little higher level they're doing a significant amount of damage to me on uh, every attack so um, and I have pretty good he only has five, he survived with five health. I'm trying to take this guy out. I really don't like the sound that these animals are making. Why are you running away? 
Uh, that was weird. He should have. I doubt they have like any kind of melee. Oh. Shit. Six. Okay. This is all going very poorly. So he needs a medic, but he's not dead yet. I'll see if I can maybe take out some. I don't know why it's saying Arahapo Caravan constantly. Like, I don't need to know that at all times. Um, that might be another one of those wonderful bugs that this game has. You're going to shoot this dude real quick. You can't because you got to save your apes. Oh, come on. You got you got enough for this. Can I precision strike this dude? Oh, I ran it, but I have to reload. God dang it. Okay. Um, you have 10 AP. You're just going. How did you? Him up. <laughs> How did you? Oh, he must be hurt enough to affect his uh, aim. But it's a little tough to see, like, man, that is frustrating. Uh, defend, maybe, and see what happens. I have a feeling he's going to take some damage here. Okay, you're coming back. Can't go on. So they fall down before they die, die. I think that, that turn means you have to get to them within four turns to actually save them up. But I suspect I might be able to get them. Let's see. But if I, you can do in combat, um, you can do in combat. Uh, how much AP does it need? Four, but I need to reload. Okay. That sucks. Oh, shit. Okay. How much is that? Three. Okay. You got to reload. But I had to reload. Who else is open here? I'm gonna go and do this one here. Bop. Take the head. Big chance for a big bonus damage on this one. There we go. Okay, huh? All right. I didn't think that I was possibly gonna be able to get through this, but there's an off chance that I might be able to actually kill all these people. Let's keep going and see. You got the optional thing here. Try that. Spiked Growler, head. Again, there's not really many much in the way of like chance to deal damage on these things, so it's not really clear. I think the special attacks never miss. Uh, that was powerful. Um, but it's really kind of... Oh, there's 80% chance for me to hit. It's kind of... The Arahopo Caver Caravan thing is kind of... Uh, kind of screwing me up here because it keeps on showing up over necessary dialogue here. So uh, I'm going to set you to... Let's hope nobody else dies here. Let's just do that. You can shoot, right? Oh, no, you got to reload. Ambush. Ready. <laughs> So that was my ambush, and he's enraged now. Uh, there are... Oh, jeez. That was a heck of a shot. Uh, let's go and take this one. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. So these guys come back up at the end of combat. You can do med kits and, and critical wounds and stuff. They won't have much in the way of uh, health at all. Uh, so you'd have to be a little careful with that. Uh, that is Wasteland 3, the necessary systems. Like I said, I haven't gotten very far. I think if I do play this game to the end, I will probably restart it from here and make a new party pack. Hopefully, I got most of that information right. Ben, do you have any final questions for me? Uh, no, I just really wish I could have seen you do the goat. <laughs> Next time, if I if I do restart over and I find the goat. It's a dialogue option. It fades to black. Nothing really crazy happens, though. So. Uh, thank you, Ben. Uh, this is Wasteland 3. It's out on Game Pass. It's also out on uh, Xbox and PS4. And I think Steam, I believe it is full price, $60 everywhere. Uh, but if you do have a Game Pass subscription, or if you like this kind of game, you want to sign up for a PC Game Pass, it's probably worth uh, the price of admission if you like this type of game. It is pretty buggy. Uh, they have a lot of work to do to make it playable for everybody, um, especially on the console versions, what the sounds of it. Uh, it. I haven't run into any game-breaking bugs, but I definitely see a lot of weird stuff. Like, why does it... It, it still says Arapo Cavern here, um, which it should not. Um, so I would wait a few more patches, maybe uh, check back in uh, you know, November or so if you really do want to play this in a, in a more polished state. But it's, it's pretty fun. It seems really long. Uh, if you're the kind of person in the market for this game, you'll probably know it by the end of this quick look, which is... Now!